Today, we're going to address the elephant in the room. What is the elephant in the room? Well, it's inflation, which has, to some degree, affected interest rates this year. Yes, interest rates are a lot higher. And if you're a buyer and you've put the brakes on buying because you're kind of freaked out right now about what's going on with inflation and with interest rates and everything in the financial world, this video you have to watch. We're gonna talk about something you really should see next. My name is Jeff Miller. I'm a residential real estate specialist here in the greater Austin area. I focus on Austin and all the communities that surround Austin. I also have this YouTube channel called Exploring Life and Living in Austin, Texas and Beyond, which if you wanna keep up with what's going on in the real estate market in the greater Austin area and just things in general, um, you should really subscribe by clicking right down there below. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna move over to my dry erase board and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna walk you through what I think is something you really need to know right now in the summer of 2022, if you're a buyer. All right, so here we are at my dry erase board. I thought it'd be really good to kind of go through a comparison of 2021 and 2022 uh, with some numbers to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So we used a list price of $500,000. In 2021, there's a high likelihood that to get that $500,000 home, you would have had to pay a premium of 15% to win out in the multiple bid situation. In other words, your house would have been $575,000. Now there's also a high likelihood that in 2022, you would get that $500,000 home for $500,000. So that difference is 75,000. We'll come back and talk about that in a second. When you get your loan, your 20% down 30 year conventional loan, this is where you look at your numbers. Your down payment would be 115,000 on the 575. That means you finance 385, and let's say you did get that 3.5% rate, right? Then your monthly principal interest would be 1383 per month. When you look at the other home in 22, the $500,000 home, 20% down, you're financing 400,000. Let's say you had to pay a 5.5% interest rate. Your principal interest ends up being 1816. That's a difference of $433 a month or $5,196 per year. Now that is substantial. There's no doubt about it. If you can't make that payment, then that's just the reality of the world we're living in, right? However, if you compare this to the premium of $75,000, which I do right here, $75,000, an extra $5,196 a month, it would take you 14.43 years to make up that difference. Just something to think about when you're buying a home, right? 14.3 years for you buying the same home this year to make up the difference of the premium that you paid last year to get the home. Now, if you still wanna get your interest rate down, there are also options, right? You can do buy downs, which is where you buy down points. You can also do an ARM, which is an adjustable rate mortgage. So if you wanna learn a little more about buy down, uh, watch my video at the end of this video uh, to see what buy downs are all about. So I hope that helps you out. If you're looking to buy in the greater Austin area, you want somebody in your corner, I'd love to help you out. You all have a great day.